Hi there, everybody. We're here with Fiona. In fact, the whole bloat's here because there's a new book out by Richard Caudray. You probably have some of his series. This one's about change. It's called You Got This, Fiona. It's really a neat little book. I'll read it to you. Fiona looked up at the sky, past the red, orange, and yellow tops of the trees. She listened carefully, her ears twitching, and she heard honk, honk, honk. Way up high, she saw something she'd never seen before. Her geese friends were flying in a big V shape. Mama called Fiona, where are those geese going? Our friends are flying south, Fiona. Some birds go to a warmer place when it gets cold during the winter season, said Bibi. There's Fiona and her mom. Flying south sounded far away. Would more birds leave the zoo to fly south? What about the other animals? The thought of her friends going away made Fiona sad. She was worried the animals wouldn't be her friends anymore. Mama, what are seasons? Seasons are special times of the year when the weather changes. Animals and plants change too. There's a lot of zoo animals right there. Right now it's autumn. It gets chilly, the leaves on the trees are colorful, and some of our friends like the geese go looking for warmer weather. Winter is cold and snowy. The leaves are gone from the trees, and many of your animal friends will stay inside or take very long naps called hibernation. You know, we usually stay inside in the winter, Fiona. Then it starts to warm up in the spring. The days are longer, the leaves start to come back, and so do the flowers in the gardens. Animals come out to play, and many baby animals are born too. And you know about summer, Fiona. Summer is hot and sunny, and we can swim in our pool all day, and all your friends come out to play. But I don't want my friends to fly away for the winter. They might forget us, Fiona said. I don't want things to change. Don't worry, said Bibi. Change, just like the seasons, can bring wonderful things. Wait and see. Fiona remembered how not too long ago, Mama had said, wait and see, to Fiona. And then her baby brother, Fritz, had been born. Look at Fritz, ah! Life sure had changed at Hippo Cove with a new baby around. I guess you're right, Mama. Sometimes change can be fun. With Fritz here, we can play new games and more people come to see us in Hippo Cove. But it wasn't easy getting used to sharing my watermelon with the baby. Or your snuggle, said Fiona quietly. Not all change is easy, but we learn from change, like how to share, Mama told Fiona. Maybe Bibi was right. Change may not always be easy, but it can bring good things. Still, Fiona was not sure. She set off to talk with her friends around the zoo. As she walked, Fiona heard splashing sounds behind the bushes. Hello, polar bear, Fiona called. How are you today? I love this cooler weather, Fiona. I hope it snows this winter, he said as he paddled in the cold water of his habitat. I just saw geese flying in a V. Mama said they're going to look for warmer weather. I wonder why they don't like the cold like you. Some of us like cold winters. Some of us like hot summers. And other animals like the in-between times, spring and autumn, said Polar Bear as he dove back into the water. Fiona asked around. The Arctic fox, the wolves, and the snow leopard all like the cold. Spring is my favorite time, said the red panda. My new baby will be born in the spring. I can't wait to meet the new baby, squealed Fiona. She remembered how exciting it had been when her baby brother finally arrived, and how baby Fritz had changed things and made Hippo Cove more fun. Fiona ran into Rhino and Tiger. Hello, friends. Hi, Fiona. Are you staying warm, asked Rhino. We're going to miss the hot summer days. Yes, we love hot weather. So do lemur, gibbons, and the orangutans, roared Tiger. How about you? We hippos like the warm weather. We like the bright hot sun and the warm breeze. Then Fiona said a little sadly, our zookeeper has to stay inside when it gets too chilly outside. Fiona thought about missing her friends again. Will they forget her? Will she forget them? As Fiona wandered around the zoo, she found herself nose to nose with Tortoise. Tortoise, do you stay home all winter? Yes, I do, Tortoise said slowly. It's too cold for me to play outside in the winter. But I'll see you again in the spring and summer. Will you forget me? Tortoise chuckled. Look at that sign outside my door, Fiona. I could never forget you. Suddenly, Fiona had a wonderful idea. I know what to do. I've got this. 
she shouted to herself as she hurried back to Hippo Cove. For several days, Fiona kept busy, just like many of her friends getting ready for winter, but she was drawing, painting, and coloring pictures of herself. She made a stack of them, one for each and every animal friend at the zoo. When she was finished, Fiona ran around delivering her pictures. Have a good winter, she said to Polar Bear, Flamingo, the Otters, Mr. Elephant, and all her animal friends. Don't forget me, Fiona called as she waved. Fiona returned to Hippo Cove. She was tired but happy. She knew that she would see her friends again when the weather got warmer in spring. They would soon walk in the warm sun, swim in the pool, and look at the new flowers. There you are. As Fiona began to settle down for the night, she heard some noise outside. Fiona and Fritz went to investigate. They found a big stack of pictures that had been delivered. That night, Mama snuggled both her little hippos. Your friends love you very much, Fiona. That love will never change, not even when the seasons change. You will see each other very soon. Now get some rest, love. And she did. That is so great. Fiona, you're the best.